homemade magnet actuator version one two linear rails electromagnet as close as I could possibly get it without touching okay currently set to delay 75 milliseconds between polarity flips power supply on okay Fifty-five, fifty-five millisecond delay between polarity flips. Still plenty of throw to run a motor. Let's get this less. Let's go to let's go to 40. 40 milliseconds. Hard to use the mouse because of the vibration. 40 milliseconds between polarity flips. Whoa. Forty's looking nice. I'm liking the way that looks. Let's go to thirty milliseconds between polarity flips. Thirty milliseconds coming up. Ooh. Still usable. That throw looks like it'll be enough to keep a motor going. Let's go down to 25, 24, 25, and 25, 25, 25, 25 milliseconds between polarity flips. Uh, something to go. Oh, the voltage went way too low. You got to crank it up a little bit because. Now we lost it. It's it's going too fast. It's not the voltage. If I could turn this up. Oh, there we go. I did have to turn it up a little bit. Now possible voltage draw wattage dropped a bunch when we did this. The torque is down. Wattage is down now. Let's crank it up. Let's see what that does. Quicker. Quicker you go, the less of a throw. Now we got our power back, but the throw 
it's starting to diminish. Yeah, let's go to 20. 20. It's going to get to a point where it'll be totally unusable. There we go. Woo! Look at that sucker. It's moving. Can't see it too good on the camera. And it's vibrating quick. Let's go down to 15. Now the vibration on the table is barely anything. 15. Now it is humming. Look how little it's moving. Usable, maybe. It's gonna have to be a tight motor. Let's go down to ten. Now we see our voltages going up. Now it's doing something uh a little weird it's let's see if we could position it to stay in the middle that's where it wants to be it's moving a little more and I like it too let's crank it there we go it needs more volts more voltage I think it's because the iron core the magnets are attracted to and it's so weak because it's pulsating so fast now at 10 milliseconds between um, polarity flips. We moved the whole thing. Fast, but I could move this around now before I couldn't. I guess if it was there, I couldn't. Interesting. Let's go down to five. Five. Five milliseconds. This sucker is going to be fast. Probably going to crank the voltage up more because it's going to drop a lot. Woo! That's just like a vibration. This is practically unusable. Got no throw no more. Just a vibrate. So that's too low. So let's go back to 15 was interesting. I don't know if we did that, but we're gonna get a 15 again. Woo! That's cooking. Vibrating. So the key to using this isn't to set it like this. It would be to have a sensor, such as a whole effect sensor, on the rotor controlling the speed of the polarity flips based on um, the position of the rotor. Interesting.